Hey there, I'm Jen, founder of Polistic Pole Yoga, a holistic lifestyle plus 52 Polistic Pole Yoga poses all on the ground. Today I'm going to show you how you can use your yoga pole in an exciting way on how to get better posture. Now with Polistic Pole Yoga we never leave the ground so it's okay if you can't come up off the ground. That's not what we use the pole for in Polistic Pole Yoga. I'm going to show you about a five minute routine that you can do so if you're sitting at your desk or you're working at somewhere repetitively where you're bent over and you feel like you're getting hunchback, you can use this five minute sequence anytime to really tune up and get better posture. Our posture is really like the bones. Think of your house. It's the bones of your house. So you wouldn't want to build a house with crooked two by fours. And so if we can get our spine straight, then that's really the center of our health. And that's the foundation of holistic pull yoga is spine alignment. So we're going to start right there today and working on better posture. Okay, if you have a pole, meet me there now. Anytime we come to the pole, we always come in home pose. Home pose, our spine is straight with the pole. We're always using the pole to, to really level up with. Taking those three deep breaths. Every pose is held for three deep breaths or for 12 counts. Okay, we're gonna come into center pose, bringing the feet to the pole, reaching all the way up as high as you can, belly button to the spine. Now sliding down into the sideways V, gently bending the elbows, looking at the pole, bringing that chin parallel to the ground. We're not looking down here and we're not looking up. Imagine that there's a ruler from your top of your head to the base of your spine. And then you gently bend those elbows, taking a big deep breath in, letting it out for those three for those three deep breaths. Okay, once you've done those three deep breaths, we're gonna move to T pose. We're gonna hold the pole at the shoulder. The feet stay the same. The, seat, the feet never move here. And we're not wrapping the hand around so that the forearm is touching the pole. The hand is here holding the pole. The back of the hand is to the back of the wall. The elbow is bent. We're not extending the elbow here. You're keeping the elbow bent, engaging the bicep, and then you're turning into T-pose, looking back at that hand, and then the hand is parallel with the ground. You can also come up on the tippy toes for an added stretch, squeezing those glutes, pulling that belly button into the spine, taking those three deep breaths. Good, and then once you've done those three deep breaths, we're gonna turn and go the other way. Breathing, we're always breathing, deep breathing, and when we do, what we do to one side, we do to the other. Deep breath in, deep breath in, forward fold down. The holistic yoga theory says what you do to one side, you do to the other. When you go up, you go down. And you can simply go down with forward fold or reverse fold, breathing. We're just stretching the spine in all the ways here. Breathing, gently coming up, coming up the pole. Now we're gonna turn around and we're gonna go into full moon. So the feet are shoulder width apart, hands up over the head, right over the crown chakra, the elbows are bent. We're not reaching all the way up. The elbows are bent, and then you're dropping that pelvis down, dropping the pelvis down. Now, if you have lower back issues, you can always put the feet closer together, stand up a closer to the pole, and you can drop down gently like this. The further your feet are sideways, and the further they are back, the more it's gonna stretch that lower back. In holistic yoga, you're gonna hear me say often, we shake, not ache, so listen to your own body. Taking those three deep breaths in, then we're gonna reverse fold back down again. The opposite way, walking those hands down the pole, breathing. Deep breath in, exhaling, then we're gonna come up, reverse table, feet together, back flat. Reverse table, we pause here on the way up. Breathing, good. One more deep breath in. And on the exhale, we're gonna come up into reverse star. So you keep the left hand down, right hand up, thumbs down, feet shoulder width apart, dropping that pelvis down again. Breathing. Those three deep breaths, switch hands, left hand up, right hand down. Do you feel how this is opening up your chest, straightening your spine? Good, right hand up, reverse angle. Walk those feet out, right foot up, pointing the toe. 
and you're stretching out and keeping the ears in line with the biceps. Don't drop the head back. Keep the ears in line with the biceps. Keep that resistance. Left foot up, pointing the toe. Breathing. Good, turning over, forward table. And this is gonna be a great little stretch that you can do. It just takes a few minutes looking up at the pole. So if you've been sitting for a while, get up and do this little sequence coming back. We're gonna end in forward angle number two, feet to the pole, hands down between the, crown, the root chakra and the, and the sacral chakra. Your elbows are bent and you're coming back. Breathing. And really take your time going through these poses, doing those deep breaths, holding for at least those 12 counts, doing it equally on both sides. Let me know in the comments below if this little series helped your spine and how you feel, if it's relieved any of your back pain. You can be sure to subscribe to this channel, hit the notification bell so you get updated when I go live or when I post the next video to help you use your yoga pole in your own space. You can also leave a comment down below with any questions that you might have about using your yoga pole to get in the best shape of your life at any age. Most of my clients are over 40, so if you're a mom and you're over 40, this practice is perfect for you. All the sessions only take 30 minutes and they really focus on uh, spine alignment and core strength. So if you're dealing with a weak pelvic floor, diastasis recti, or you're feeling weak in your core or you want more upper body strength, more confidence, this is really going to help you. We also deal with trauma in the body. There's so much. So be sure to subscribe to this channel so that you can get updates because I will be posting weekly. Every Monday I'll be uploading a new video on holistic pole yoga just for you. You can use these mini tutorials at home with your yoga pole to get in the best shape of your life and if you want to join me further, I'll leave the link below for you to join us in the Polistic Yoga Academy where we have the full 30 minute session. And I'm also going to leave a link so you can get a free session right now called Stretch Into Shape. I want you to have this tool available for you to use anytime. These 30 minutes are really magical and I really encourage you to take the time to put yourself first. You're worth it and I value you and I see you and I'm always here for you. I'll see you next time. Namaste at the pole.